see how the vacuum pump works. The water vacuum pump is based on Venturi effect. This effect tells us that if we have a pipe with a narrowing inside it and with the condition that the height at the entrance of this tube is the same of the height in the narrowing, in this case we are talking about the height relative to the base. So we can also say relative to the ground, to be clear. So if we have these two conditions, narrowing and the same height, we can write the so-called Venturi equations. Venturi equations actually come from the Bernoulli equations. Bernoulli theory is this one you can see on the screen. In this equation, the number ones stands for the conditions at the entrance of the tube, whereas number two stands for the conditions in the narrowing. Now, if we have that H1 equals H2, as you can see, we can erase the final terms of this equation, because both are the same. In fact, density is the same, because we are dealing with the same liquid, in this case water, H1 equals H2, so they are both the same. And G, which is the gravitational constant, is the same, of course, so we can erase these two final terms of the Bernoulli equation. And now the Bernoulli equation will be turned into the so-called Venturi equations. Now let's see the variables of this equation. P1 and P2 are the pressures of this fluid at the entrance and in the narrowing. V1 and V2 are the speeds of the fluid again at the entrance and in the narrowing. And then we have D, which is again density. Let's now introduce for a while a new concept, which is the flow rate. Flow rate is actually very simple because it equals to section times the speed of the fluid. Now there is a principle in the physics of fluids which is the conservation of the flow rate. This means that the flow rate should be the same in the pipe. However, as you can see in our tube, we have that section 1, so the section at the entrance of the tube, is bigger, much bigger, than the section in the narrowing of the tube. So now, how the flow rates at the entrance can be equal to the flow rates in the narrowing? So how Q1 can be equal to Q2? The only way how Q1 is equal to Q2 is that the speed V2 in the narrowing becomes bigger. And that's what is actually happening in the narrowing of this kind of tube. So in the narrowing, we will have a higher speed of the fluid. But now, let's be back to our Venturi equation. So now we get that V2 is bigger than V1. But as you can see from the Venturi equation, the two terms of the equation should be the same. So now, how this part of the equation can be equal to this other part of the equation if we have that the speed is different. The only way these two terms can be the same is that the pressure P2 will decrease. And this is what actually happens in this kind of pipe. So in this kind of pipe, the speed in the narrowing will be greater. However, the pressure will be decreased. Now, thinking that with the increase in speed, the pressure decreases is against intuition. However, it's what actually happens in this kind of pipe. And it's thanks to this decrease in pressure that we can take advantage of this kind of pipe for some applications. And how we can do that? Pretty simple. We have to connect another tube to our pipe. This tube has to be connected to our narrowing and should be placed in perpendicular position. Now, if this tube is open to the air, since the pressure outside, so the atmospheric pressure, is much higher than the pressure in the narrowing, what will happen is that the air from the outside will be sucked inside our tube and will go in our pipe. So this means that we can create vacuum with this kind of system. And this is the principle how our water vacuum pump works. So as you can see, this is a simple principle and a simple instrument that, however, 
allow us to conduct filtration under vacuum with such simple objects.